Well, good evening, Cinema Cafe. This is the first time I've ever been here. You guys look fantastic. My name is Joseph DePaul, and uh, what Dan didn't mention is I'm actually a magician. Right, that's usually my father's reaction. <laughs> like, Dad, I'm going to quit my job as an engineer and be a full-time magician. <laughs> I usually ask my father, how's, how's your son doing these days? Didn't he go you know, to an engineering school, get a degree in evil architecture? How's his life? What's his job? He tells fart jokes. He does car tricks at the same time. He's very proud of me. Now, folks, I'm not going to try and convince you magic is real or anything like that. No, it's none of that silly nonsense, okay? Magic, much like the Loch Ness Monster, fairies, and this economic recovery, doesn't actually exist. No, it's okay. we got a few Republicans where I can live with that. But, uh, folks, I did want to show you one of what I feel is magic's greatest illusions ever. Ever. And it requires this ancient artifact called a newspaper. I've never used one of these. Anyone recognize this before? <laughs> uh, I'm going to show you the inside of the newspaper. Take a note of a picture, a headline, uh, something like that, so that when you see the newspaper again, you know it's the same one that we started with. And again, I'm going to show you one of the greatest illusions ever because this entire theater will believe that I have ripped the newspaper in half. Yep, look at all you. <laughs> Didn't happen. Total illusion. Looks really good, though. Oh, yeah. Nick of, uh, right here, what's your name? Max. That's correct, Max. Stand up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use you as a demonstration. I want you to take this end of the newspaper. I want you to hold it from the top, both hands. Face the audience. This is show business. <laughs> and what Max is going to do is he's going to rip the newspaper with me, and we're going to demonstrate the difference between an illusion in a skilled practitioner's hands and just a uh, big, scary, strong guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Max, on the count of three, we're going to rip the newspaper in half, and you guys will see the difference. Watch really careful, Max. On the count of three, rip the newspaper. One, two, three, rip the newspaper. And you guys can clearly see the difference between Max... <laughs> kitchen to catch ghosts. Instead, catches 29-year-old girlfriend having sex with 16-year-old son. Oh. At least he knows where the ectoplasm is. Oh. <laughs> Gets tough towards the end. But you can see, it looks like multiple pieces. It looks like it's just one big conglomeration of nonsense. Uh, it is, in fact, so convincing that some of you believe you actually saw a newspaper fall to the stage Lay there. And apparently you're not going to say a damn thing. You're going to look like an idiot. Sure, thanks guys. That's fantastic. Get me to be back here again. Now, I said this was an illusion. This didn't happen. Clearly. So it should not be dramatically difficult to put the newspaper back together. Watch it. <laughs> All right, let's sit Dan back up here, guys. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Max, to look at me like my parents are brother and sister. <laughs> Actually, I can't really see anyone's faces. The lights are really bright here, which is which is fine. And just later in life, I'm going to get glaucoma from this. <laughs> but Max, this is your fault. <laughs> Max, they don't think I can actually do this, but the fact is that it's actually good. Inside the newspaper, once want you again, keep clapping if you saw an item or a picture that you recognize, a headline, something like that. Yeah. Here you have it, folks. 